Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. I am so excited for this package. Guys, I've been waiting for this for so, so, so long. And I haven't been this excited since the Hyperstone. I'll be honest with you, this is one spinner that I fell in love with immediately when I saw the pictures of it. And of course, it is a package from Germany from a man named Peter Doring. And I hope that I did not butcher your name, Peter. I hope I pronounced it right. And this spinner actually holds slightly more meaning to me personally because I helped to name it the Sakura Spinner. The reason why I named Sakura was because Peter was actually looking for suggestions for names. And I said, hey, when it's spinning, it looks like a Sakura flower. So he said, hey, Sakura's a nice name. And he decided to keep it. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking so much and open it up. Here we go. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. I've got two very nice felt pouches. Yes, I ordered two, guys. I couldn't help it. I was not going to pass up on these. Velcro. Wow. So check it out. We've got... Wow, it looks like it's chock full of stuff. Look at that. So we've got this. Big Sakura, all stainless steel. B blasted, number three. And this is Peter's logo. Here. This is the name of the company. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I won't. I won't try, guys. Put this guy aside. Let's check this one out. The spinner is in here. I can feel it. It's heavy. These are black screws, and we got silver screws, and we got some pins as well. I wonder what these pins are for. Very interesting. We got same pins in here as well. Let's look at what other things we have in this little package over here. We've got one Ziploc bag. This, I believe, is the extra weights that I paid for. I decided to add on some extra weights because you guys know the original Sakura which is this comes with removable weights so middle finger to all the clones but look at this this is a darkened stone wash stainless steel finish look at how beautiful this thing is oh my goodness that texture is amazing so I've got like four of these one two three four and let's unveil this little beauty oh Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is B blasted stainless steel, guys. And I opted for extra dark stone wash weights. So I'm gonna be able to swap it out if I want to. It's held in by uh, what looks to be Torx screws. And we have the serial number, number three. Oh my goodness. Nice laser etching on the buttons and the buttons feel super awesome. That concave is just exquisite. Okay, I'm gonna spin it, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, look, my hair is standing. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps, but this is awesome. Of course, it's a bar spinner, so yes, it's suffering from some wobble when you flip it on the axis. Ah, now this makes sense why he gave me two different color options of screws. Dark ones can be used for this, unless I want an accent, then I can go for the silver ones, but you know, there are already silver ones up here. Very nice touch, Peter. Thank you so much. Then we got this, and we'll leave it right here, and we'll spin this baby over here. Let's check out the other packet. So this one is small Sakura, all stainless steel, beat blasted body, dark weights. Number three, for this, I've got the beat blasted weights inside this package. And I've got also the hardware that's needed. And you can see that the screws here are significantly shorter because it is a smaller frame. Let's check this guy out. Oh man, I'm excited, I'm excited. Whoa. Okay, I'm definitely gonna change this to the stone washed weights. I'm gonna change this to the dark stone washed weights for sure. This is amazing. And it's also number three. So we have the big guy and the small guy look big and small Sakura next to each other. Let's see how this guy spins in. Oh, hey, this guy spins a lot smoother than the big one. But the big one feels like it's gonna be able to spin for a way longer time. But just look at that, guys. Look. Oh, gosh. Guys, I've waited for like four months, five months for these. I know that Peter ran into some problems and I know that there are a lot of clones out there now. Ever since the design was put up online, I know how it is with the cloning world. They can just clone anything just by looking at pictures. But look at this original, guys. Nothing comes close. These were actually offered in copper, brass, and stainless steel. And I really, really want to give due respect to Peter because he could have just said, you know what, I'm just going to refund all of you and I'm going to close shop. But no, he just stuck to his plan. And in fact, he improved on his design. Not only did he improve on the weight retention method that the cloners weren't aware of, obviously, but he also stepped his game up and he sourced out for different options for finishes on the weights as well as the frame 
and the buttons. And initially, darkened color wasn't an option that was given. It was only given like maybe about a month ago or so. And I just had to top up another $10 or so. And I really think it's super worth it. So I'm definitely going to swap out these. And a lot of people have received the Sakuras and they posted it online. And some of them actually have it in like a dark stone wash copper. And that one is like so exquisite. The only problem is I just cannot handle copper simply because my skin reacts to it. So that is really unfortunate. But it's okay. I got really awesome Sakuras. Look at this. I do not regret this at all. These, in my opinion, super beautiful. Guys, I don't even know what to say. Now clones, I know for sure that they have super sharp edges. Right now, I'll tell you off the bat. Look at these. They are nicely rounded. Look. Not sharp, not sharp, not like clones. Okay, I'm just gonna stop bashing the clones and stuff and I'll just focus on these two guys. Put these guys on my EDC for the next week or maybe even a couple of weeks. Then I'll get back to you guys and I'll tell you really what I feel about them after having them on me for at least a week. Because right now, if I were to give you a review after like three days or something, it is definitely gonna be biased. I will tell you that and I do not wanna give you a biased review. All right, I'll catch you guys soon. I mean, not really soon, but in this video, it'll feel like it's soon, right? <laughs> okay, bye. A few moments later. I have decided that I'm going to change out the weights on the big Sakura. And then I'm also going to change the screws from the mini Sakura, from the standard torque screws into the darkened torque screws. And so in order to get that job done, I have with me a T6 wrench or screwdriver, I suppose. So we're gonna remove the torque screws on all four sides so we can remove the weights. Now once the torque screw is removed, you can just remove the weight from the frame. So that's the reason why we are given extra pins as well in case we lose a pin. But yeah, it's actually quite an ingenious design to hold it in with a pin and then secure it with a torque screw so you get double so it wouldn't wobble around. Now I'm going to remove all four weights so I'm just going to probably speed up this part of the video. So this one particular weight was a little bit snug in there. I had to coax it out a little bit, but it came out no problem. And this is what the Sakura looks like without the weights. Still spins really fine actually. So I realized that the extra weights don't have the little pin in it. So I'm going to have to get the pins out and use them here. But I'm just going to make sure that I insert the pins correctly. And I might need a pair of tweezers for these because, you know, these are really, really small little pins. Oh, okay, I guess not. You could do these by hand. Even for chubby fingers like mine. <laughs> So here we go. And it looks like we are done. Now I have two Sakuras, the big and the mini, in both the exact same combination, which is bead blasted stainless steel frames with bead blasted buttons and dark stone washed weights, along with the dark stone washed torque screws. This is amazing. Look at that. Just beautiful. Since I'm at it, I might as well just give you guys a quick size comparison of the two Sakuras versus a Stubby. The small Sakura versus a Stubby, not too much of a difference, but the big Sakura though, compared to a Stubby, could almost be twice its size. Almost twice. Just compare this. Yep, catch you in the next part of the video. One eternity later. I am back after spending a week with these two beautiful spinners. First of all, I'm gonna confess that I found myself gravitating more towards the mini Sakura than the big Sakura, even though I had them on me all the time. The big Sakura though, in terms of aesthetics and the way it's built, I don't know, it's the proportions or something. It just looks better to me than the mini Sakura. Maybe it's the size of the weights. Maybe it's just the shape of the weights. I don't know. Just overall, the big Sakura looks a lot better to me than the mini Sakura. Now, you guys already know that I put on the dark stone washed weights. And you can see obvious signs of wear on the corners because I've been using the mini one so much. And in particular, this edge. This corner right here sees a lot more signs of wear than the others probably because I always hold my spinner this way and I've had my middle finger right here performing preloaded flicks. I mean other edges also have signs of wear but not as much as this one particular edge right here. And yes there are signs of wear on the bigger Sakura as well but definitely not as much as signs of wear on the smaller Sakura because I always, I don't know why, for some reason I just 
gravitate more towards a mini Sakura. Probably because of the size, it just feels more comfortable in hand and probably because it's just a lot easier to pick up and fidget around with. I don't really know. But I'm not trying to knock the big one as well. The big one really is quite fun. It's just bigger and heavier. Definitely this guy gets longer spin times than the small Sakura. One thing I really want to point out to you guys, and I think that this is something that I only figured out after spending time with it, is that the buttons on the big Sakura really really wonderful buttons yeah they are recessed or you could say that they have a little concave here but the edges here the inner edges here these are actually convexed edges which makes it feel super comfortable it's really really nice to hold peter you did really good on these buttons over here and it is unfortunate but you don't have the same kind of i guess finish or machining on the smaller buttons. The smaller buttons, yes, they are comfortable. They go in a bit. There is a concave and it's a very nice concave for your fingers to sit in, but it just doesn't have that rounded edge that this has. I mean, you guys can tell by the way it reflects light already that it is curved this way. These are just exquisite, man. These feel so good. Let's now talk about the fidgetability of the Sakura spinners and I would like to start with the Mini Sakura. The Mini Sakura is a very comfortable fidgeter but there are some hot spots and they are right here. These four edges over here. Whenever I reach out to perform a preloaded flick, this is completely fine because it is a small frame and I find myself reaching out and landing my finger on the edge right here. But on the chance that I actually land my finger here on the inside, even though it is rounded, yes, it is rounded very nicely, but it is still a hot spot. Look, have my finger right there. And if you pull it back hard enough, sometimes it'll definitely cause you some discomfort. So this is something that you guys should take note of. Of course, these are removable weights. So what you could do if you really wanted to is to take out your weight and then round this edge even more than it is right now if you really wanted to. Whenever I perform a forward flick, I never find myself feeling uncomfortable or feeling any kind of hurt from this edge over here. If I change the orientation of the grip and I perform the forward flick or the backward flick, doesn't matter where I'm at, whether it's from the flat here or from the edge right on top, no problem at all. Fourth finger, same thing applies with the middle finger. Pull or flick. Just make sure you don't have your finger up here because this will cause you discomfort but not as much as pulling with your middle finger. I don't know, maybe it's because the middle finger is just located right here. Maybe it's just the way I'm not able to stretch my fourth finger the way my middle finger does. You know, even pulling back when my finger is right here isn't causing me much discomfort at all. Alright, preloaded flicks on the bigger Sakura is fine as well, but it does have the same problem as the mini Sakura as well. These four corners here are hot spots. When you have your finger out here resting on the edge, that's fine. But if you land your finger right here, then yep, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. You don't feel it when you push forward, definitely not. You feel it only when you pull back. And in this grip, pulling back, pushing forward, not a problem whatsoever. Same thing you take note of when you are performing flicks with your fourth finger. Now you guys notice I never mentioned anything about these outer edges being sharp. And that's because they are not sharp. And I honestly will tell you that I never found myself having my finger on the edge and pulling or pushing. Even if I had it out here, I never ever landed my finger here at all. So these are not a cause for concern. Even if you put your finger here and you rub it, it doesn't even feel sharp simply because, yes guys, it is very nicely rounded. No kidding. So fidgetability of these, these are pretty good. Not the best, not the 100% comfortable kind of fidgetability, but these are pretty good. Whether or not you're going for table spins, preloaded flicks, just going forward or backwards with it, these are comfortable. But do take note that over time, if you get the dark stone wash or any dark version, it is going to wear off. Next, let's talk about price point. Now, each of these cost about 150 US. This was during the pre-order back then, and I decided that I would get both. I don't know if they're going to be of any different prices right now, but when I first got it, it was 150 and 150. And 
I bought extra weights, you guys already know. So the extra weights cost about 42 USD as well. But with the weights, it means that at any point of time, I could just swap these dark stone watch weights out and then I would have a very uniform looking Sakura spinner. And for that, I do not regret. I know it's a bit pricey for some of you, but think about it. For that price range, I would classify these spinners more of collector's items than long spinners or fidget spinners. These guys look really beautiful and the exclusiveness drives it to that point. It's not easy to get these, to be honest with you guys. I waited for a long time before I got these on hand. Now that I'm talking about that, I want to give Peter a huge shout out for staying true to his word, sticking to his A game in the face of cloners and producing a beautiful product. I did not regret staying on that pre-order and trusting in Peter and he did not fail to deliver. Look at these two. And the date of recording of this video is the 27th of May. And apparently, I think Peter is actually opening another pre-order run for these guys. So if you are lucky, and if this video actually releases on time <laughs> so that the word can get out, you guys might be able to get yourself a Sakura spinner if the pre-order is still running. So I will put links in the video description. Make sure you check out their Facebook group. So if you guys are interested, make sure you go ASAP before the pre-order closes. That's basically everything I have to say about the Sakura spinner guys. For its price point, once again, these are really collector's spinners. To me, it is one of the grail spinners. And these are the first spinners in the market that actually offer exchangeable weights. Now I'm really, really tempted to get one of the Damasteel ones. I don't know, it's... Peter's offering them in Blue Tongue Damasteel right now and it's gonna be a bit expensive though, but it's really something that I have to consider. Yes, the market right now is flooded with clones of the Sakura Spinner. And it's quite scary, you know, the way cloners work. They can just completely clone a spinner just by looking at pictures. And the thing is, they've even come out not just with the bar type, they've made a tri type and a quad type. But this right here is the official, authentic, original Sakura spinner. And I gotta tell you, I'm so impressed with the workmanship and quality of these spinners right here. Just look at that. It's so well balanced. The small one and the big one. Just look at that. Look at how stable it is on my finger, look. Oh yeah, one more thing I want to tell you guys. Peter shared with me that these R188 bearings are press fit and glued in. These are, I believe, hybrid ceramic eight ball bearings. But moving forward from now, for the next batch of Sakura spinners, I believe that he's gotten the one drop yo-yo steel bearings. And those bearings are well known to be some of the best bearings out there in the market. So I'm kind of jealous that the one drop yo-yo bearings are actually being used in the newer Sakuras. But then again, if I really wanted to, I have the contraption that I made. I could just push these bearings out and get myself one drop yo-yo bearings and put it in if I wanted to. But as they are right now, they spin perfectly fine and they are very awesome spinners. Out of all the spinners I have, I will honestly, sincerely tell you, I do not regret buying these Sakura spinners. And these definitely are keepers. That's it guys, I think I've said enough. We've come to the end of the video and I hope that I provided enough information for you guys to decide whether or not the Sakura spinner is a spinner for you. Make sure to check out the links in the video description and I hope that if you're looking to get yourself a Sakura spinner, you act fast before the pre-order closes and you miss out on the next batch. I hope that I can edit, render and upload this video in time for you guys as well. Alright, catch you guys in the next slice of my life. Bye!